G'day everyone. Um, I have just finished some more of uh, miniature, more of the miniatures for Silver Bayonet, um, Napoleonic or Napoleonic adjacent, whichever way you want to look at it, really. <laughs> um, these guys you can see in front of you are definitely Napoleonic, that's for sure. Um, these are Old Guard Grenadiers. Um, like all the miniatures, they are available from North Star Military Figures in the UK. No, I don't work for them, and I'm not sponsored by them. But these figures are cool, and I'm painting them for someone else, and I really enjoy painting them. <laughs> They're cool. Um, yeah, so these Grenad Old Guard, French Old Guard Grenadiers are actually from um, another uh, sub-range it's under uh, muskets and tomahawks, actually. And there's a subset under there, I believe, for shakos and bayonets, which has, North Star has some figures that they sell for that, but they work just as fine for silver bayonet. And these are under the shakos and bayonets. And under the, I think if you go on the website, if you look up mus muskets and tomahawks, you'll find these under there somewhere under the... Uh, is it uh, the retreat from Moscow range? I think there's a pen peninsula ones and retreat from Moscow. Yeah, these are the um, 1812 retreat from Moscow ones. Um, so they're, they're a bit more uh, bearded and um, got some extra layers, mittens and um, shawls or scarves or whatever, that kind of thing. Um, as always, pictures at the end all being well. Um, but Great fun to paint, lovely one-piece castings, joy to work with. Um, I painted the um, a version of the, the grenade on top of the busby there and some other detail that's not sculpted on, but, but they would have had on their cartridge boxes with the just a little approximation of the eagle and the little grenades in each corner. So... Yeah, lovely miniatures. They have a really nice simplicity about them in a lot of ways. Um, not as chunky as some stuff. I think I'm pretty sure they'd fit in fine with Perry's stuff. Um, but they have a real character of their own. Um, and uh, as I said, they're great fun to paint. <laughs> the detail's nice and clear um, on them. So... Yeah, as I say, more pictures of these guys at, at the end. They've got their winter gear on. They've got their dark blue trousers. They've got their great big dark blue coats with the red epaulettes and all the all the all the business. Um, so let's just move them to one side, and I'll show these other cool miniatures here at the back. From the... now, these are from a, some of the different. Uh, box sets or packs that you can get for a silver bayonet and I'll try and remember where they're from I don't know if I can remember them all so hopefully I'm getting them in shot for you uh, let's just there you go, sharpen that focus so what you've got oh, I think this is from one of the North American uh, the, uh, the Canada Rangers Upper Canada maybe or something like that or, or um, so he's I can't remember what he was titled, but um, I mostly, uh, I used the uh, uh, painted versions on the North Star site as my starting point, and then I make some little adjustments of my own. Um, so there you go. He's got some native equipment there as well. For some reason, he's got a whip there at his waist. A um, couple of pistols. Yeah, like I say, si simple figures, but and and not, but but really nicely uh, detailed and cool sort of characters. So, and this one's meant to be um, a horse artillery chappy. Um, I put get more light, maybe. I don't know if that makes it worse or better. Um, yes, yeah, so horse artillery guy. Um, I've painted on, they're not sculpted on, but these little uh, knots here. Um, but the lace that you would normally see on the jacket isn't sculpted on. Uh, 
and the, he's a bit more beardy as well. You know, we've been out in the wilderness or something. And he's got his plume, instead of being out with the white plume, he's got one of the oilskin covers. Um, that's what I, it, to me, that's what it looked like. Um, I had a look at some pictures. Um, I'm sure that sometimes their, their uh, plume um, have had a cover on it, um, a black cover or a dark grey cover. So I assume that's what it was because it's quite flat. It does not the, has, doesn't have the texture, say, like a plume like that. So I assume they had the cover on it. So yeah, so I painted a, a stripe up his legs as well. Some extra, just some extra sort of lace lines and things, yeah. Uh, and this fellow is from, he's one of the British packs, obviously. Um, this chap here, this is a, an Austrian um, doctor, uh, apparently in the silver bayonet range. Again, very simple, just used a couple of different blacks um, but most of his gear is is a dark blue but I tried to make it a different dark blue than the one I used on the French or on this chap um, so he's got his doctor's bag there and his cape um, this chappy is another American guy this is meant to be um, a US marine um, hairy looking one so He's quite colourful, actually, you know, um, so nice bright figure with the, the blue and the red trims and the yellow cords and, and um, his stripes and whatnot. Yeah, it's quite striking looking. Nice, nice little miniatures, as I keep saying. <laughs> um, this fella is meant to be... Again, I think it's from one of the American sets um, or Canadian sets, um, but he's meant to be a British officer in the co in the colonies or something like that um, with that different type of hat um, and um, probably civilian issue boots. Um, I think, uh, yeah, I changed some of the colours that were on. Uh, I think the North Star website had him on a, with dark blue facings, but I'd done them in green to go with the scarlet and uh, he's got a crimson sash and um i think the north star also has him a different color pair of uh, trousers but i'll give him a gray yeah, gray gray trousers and he's got um he's got a pistol by his side and he has um some native decoration stuff on his backpack holding it together um brandishing his sword yeah so I don't know any of the backstories to Silver Bayonet, except it's got something to do with gothic horror and vampires and werewolves and whatnot. Um, and this guy, again, is from one of the Canada sets, I believe, some sort of militiaman, um, basically with some quite civilian-looking gear. He's got a, a grey overcoat, um, a blue woolly, dark blue woolly hat, um, a coloured sash, and he's got some of the silver crosses. You do see this on a lot of uh, um, the silver bayonet miniatures. They often have crosses, silver ones. You know, and they're probably, I don't know, ward off the vampires or werewolves or whatever it is. Um, but yeah, not, again, a nice simple figure, but, but good to paint. Good to paint. They were all fun to paint. So that's them, guys. Uh, what have we got? Uh, right, four... Four grenadiers and one, two, three, and six of so uh, right, ten all up, and um, and a real pleasure they were to paint again. As I've said before about this range of figures, oh look, I'm almost tempted to get some for myself, but um, I don't know whether I'd find the time to paint them. But it's um, they're just they're just really fun. As I say, this you can uh, I don't think you can buy. The figures individually i think they are all in packs i think you'd have to check that on the north star website so as i say that these can be found in different places you you know under the silver bay bayonet and and also under uh shakos and tom no, muskets and tomahawks um, under the shakos and bayonet stuff there's there's figures there that are suitable and they're all sculpted by the same uh sculptor is it mark mark owen or mark so, so I can't remember exactly. Um, 
but they're cool. They are very cool, and it's been an absolute pleasure to paint them. Um, don't know what I'm doing next. I've got things. I've got some stuff in the boxes. Uh, I've, there's some other figures up, up the back there that um, will get some attention at some stage. Um, but yeah, I must admit, I'm I'm tending to want to do the Napoleonic stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not to say I won't be doing other things. Okay, I've, I've, I've splashed, a, splashed a bit more paint on some of my um, figures uh, that I've had in the drawer for a long time. Some Jacob's Rifles. Just some very, very rudimentary blocking in. Um, love the colours that you can put on them with the, with the green and the red trousers and stuff like that. And a lot of khaki elsewhere. So, been doing that. And, um, yeah. So, I don't know when they'll get finished, or what I'll do with them, <laughs> as I've already sold a lot of my colonials off, but I've still got some in the drawers. Anyway, anyway, that's enough for me. I hope you enjoy the pictures, and I look forward to uh, painting some more stuff and being able to share it with you. Um, thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye.